New developments following the deadly movie set shooting involving the actor Alec Baldwin. Fallout from the incident has now revealed safety issues involving a member of the crew. Baldwin fired a prop gun, killing a, a cinematographer and injuring the director. CBS's Omar Villafranca has the latest. At a vigil in Los Angeles Sunday, film and television workers gathered to honor Helena Hutchins. Hutchins' death is now under investigation by the Santa Fe County Sheriff. According to an affidavit, Assistant Director Dave Halls grabbed one of three prop guns set aside by the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez, who took her first lead armorer job earlier this year. When Halls handed the gun to actor Alec Baldwin, Halls allegedly shouted, cold gun, indicating there was no live round in the chamber. Baldwin later fired the gun, killing Helena Hutchins and wounding the director, Joel Souza, who was standing behind her. And in a new affidavit released last night, Souza told investigators, Baldwin was rehearsing a scene that involved drawing his weapon and pointing it towards the camera lens. A 911 call from Thursday raises questions about how the gun was handled on set, including by Assistant Director Halls. It's a f ID. He's supposed to check the gun. He's responsible. Maggie Gall was a pyrotechnician on a shoot with Halls back in 2019. She says Halls' behavior on that set compelled her to file a complaint with her executive producers. The first AD, they're not just steering the ship. They're also there to maintain a safe working environment. It was, Are there any safety concerns that you have when yes, you're there? No fire lanes, uh, hard to access. Um, doors were blocked. There were no safety meetings. While the investigation into the shooting continues, it's not clear if criminal charges will be filed, says New Mexico defense attorney Erlinda Johnson. They have to demonstrate criminal negligence, that the person acted recklessly with wanton disregard for the safety of others. We have repeatedly reached out to Halls and Gutierrez, but have not heard back. And we're expecting to learn more about this case at a Wednesday press conference. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Santa Fe, New Mexico.